baby. Oh, yeah, look at him. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Man, what a cool fish. Oh, wow. Well, Check right that out. out. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Up she comes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! That is a cracker. Flowery cod are normally active around dusk. This guy obviously thought he'd have an early feed. Twitch that popper and this big brown shape just appeared. I went, oh my God, crash. Just eating the popper. That was awesome. That was good stuff. Oh, GT last cast, cod, mackerel. Oh, it's all oh, happening oh, today. Man. The game's on. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. ET and I have been plundering a string of rarely fished reefs 200 nautical miles off the Queensland coast. Let me tell you, the fishing here is just awesome. Oh, oh yes! Triple Woo! <laughs> Triple hook up. Everyone's hooked up. It's crunched right next to the boat. Oh. Oh. Soft plastics, hard bodies, poppers, it doesn't seem to matter. The reefies love them all, and we're having an absolute yeah, ball. Nice size, mate. Well, it was a triple hookup. Two beautiful gold spots and this lovely mackerel. They just couldn't resist it. Plenty of bait around here, and it's a nice edge, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a few more. But yeah, triple hookup. It's always good. It's back out on the blue for the last crack at some reefies. We're 200 nautical miles offshore, and the closest land is this shallow reef. The perfect place to target some feisty spangled emperor. Getting your lure as close as possible to the structure is a good way to entice a spangle. And you can see this is one three jointed and two nice sharp hooks on the end. Oh, the key with these guys is don't strike too early. Spangled Emperor will often take a lure and swim off before swallowing. If you go off half cocked, you can wind up pulling the hook right out of its mouth. Tell you what though, when you do get one on, it's an all out tug of war. As they try to hightail it into the reef. Oh, Spangly, what a Spangly? These guys used to be known as sand snapper in some parts, and you can see why. Part of the attraction of fishing these pristine waters is the incredible assortment of species you capture from the coral. Our guide Glanville's been amazing on this trip, so we tell him to pick up a rod and have some fun. And five minutes later, double bending. Big bending. Oh, God. Oh, it's all happening. Glanville and Guesty oh, double hook up. I'm feeling a bit left out, but not for long. Make that a triple. We've had a great time with the guys from Nomad Sport Fishing Adventures, and this is the perfect way to wrap it up. Solid spangles all round. Well, three beautiful fish, and all caught on different lures. Have a look at that. This big spangled emperor. And they'd make for a mighty tucker, I reckon. Oh, mate. <laughs> We're going to let these ones go because we've got plenty of food. And they pull hard, don't they, ET? They go like a train, these things. Sure Time to head back to base. Nomad's beautiful 80 foot mothership, Odyssey. We're exhausted, but exhilarated. Pretty good. Happy day. Good stuff, man.